I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. Exclamation. My behavioral core glows when my master acts like this. That's right! Death, Death, Death to the Queen! Death, Death, Death to the Allies! Grab arms! We, we will, will march. march! Why are you joining in this? I prefer Vaklu over Talia, but this is hardly a task for a warrior. You would fight with them? This is madness! We need reinforcements! The Outworld are joining us! Let's fight these rats! Let's fight these rats! The Royals must die! Is there someone that you need killed, Master? Statement. Ah, you wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well, proceed. Statement. Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Do your worst. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. Statement. <sighs> Master. That is a question that has an extremely complicated answer. You see, I do not believe my master knew who she was most of the time, which led to some confusing situations that could have otherwise been avoided. Clarification. Suffice to say that my master had her ups and downs, and in my opinion, traveled from a high point in her life to a low point. She developed qualities such as mercy, compassion, and even love for others. It was really rather revolting. Still, my master had some remarkably efficient droid-like qualities which I admired. She, too, suffered memory problems as I did. Statement. Oh, yes, master. As indicated upon my reassembly, my central control cluster is damaged, making recalling my previously stored assassination protocols difficult. I hope that over time I shall eventually reach the status and skill I possessed before I was damaged. Recollection. 
The last thing I remember is having my core wiped from the last five years. I believe my master was responsible. Answer. Even with my memory impairment, I recall that my master was about to embark on a dangerous journey. Conjecture. I believe there was something about my master's destination that she did not wish me to know. Answer. I am somewhat disappointed that my master did not choose to take me along, of course. Wherever my master traveled, destruction and death were assured. Speculation. But I suspect I was not the only one left behind. So there is some satisfaction that the disrespect was spread through the rest of his whiny, simpering meatbag allies. Statement. Oh, yes. My master had quite the collection of tortured individuals that seemed unable to confront their basic personality conflicts. Let me cite some specific examples. Mockery. Oh, master! I do not trust you! I cannot trust you or anyone! Ever again! Conclusion. Such pheromone-driven human responses never cease to decrease the charge in my capacitors and make me wish I could press a blaster pistol to my behavior core and pull the trigger. I am pleased that this does not seem to be the case with your current entourage. Statement. Yes, well, enough of that painful stroll through what remains of my memories. Was there something else you wished to know? Statement. Master, before you go, I had a question for you. Statement. Yes, Master. My, I must confess, I enjoy it when you are so authoritative and dismissive toward me. It bodes well for your treatment of our enemies. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, sir, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I I'm just a journalist, not a spy. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, you should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I've told you our story. Please, won't you help us? My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen. 
the conspiracy was discovered, and he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong, and our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will, 